in 1 Peter chapter 1, verse 16, God tells us to be holy because He is holy. We are to be imitators of God. This is the season and this is the time that holiness has come back on the scene and God is looking to His people to be holy. In Romans chapter 12, verse 1, it says that this is our reasonable service to present our bodies holy unto Him. You know, there are many things that are going on in the world today that are unholy, even in the church world. You know, and I'm standing uh, in front of a church building. The people are the church, not the building. But I'm standing here to let you know that religion is not holiness. Just because an individual goes to services every Sunday morning, every Sunday night, every Wednesday night, or whenever that service might be, does not make them holy. Jesus Christ in his flesh made us holy. That's what it says in Colossians, that his flesh made us holy. You know, I have a strong uh, just sense in my spirit that we are to present this temple is to be holy. This temple that God has, has given us, our bodies, we are the temple of the Holy Spirit. And we are to keep it that way. And how do we do that? We are to put on holiness. We are to put it on like a, like a clothing uh, that is is made of love and humility and, and with the Word of God strong in our spirits. Uh, that's the only way that we can be holy. He is holy, therefore we are to be holy. In 1 Peter, you know, it's interesting to me that that in Peter, 1 Peter and 2 Peter, uh, there are a lot of scriptures about holiness. And in 1 Peter chapter 2, he talks about a holy nation. We are a holy nation, a holy priesthood, chosen of God to offer up spiritual sacrifices. Holiness is a spiritual thing, not a religious thing. Religion will kill, but, but spiritual things will make you alive, it will make you well, it will make you prosperous. But we are to be holy as He is holy, then we must have the Word of God inside of us. And we must be led by the Spirit of God. It says that we are a holy nation raised up to be a kingdom of priests offering up sacrifices acceptable to God through Jesus Christ. For it is said that he is the chosen and precious cornerstone. You know, Mary in Luke chapter 1, in her song that she sang, she said, Mighty is the Lord and holy is his name. He is holy. And you know, Moses went up on the mountain and he heard from the Lord God Almighty because God is holy. We are to separate ourselves out. This is the time and this is the season for people to come before his throne with holiness in their heart, holiness in their bodies, holiness in their minds. I pray for you today that you will take hold of this message and that you will live a holy life before the Lord. I pray for those who need healing in their body. I say to you, be healed in Jesus' name. I come against all kinds of cancers uh, in Jesus' name, that they be burned out of your body by the fire of God because your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit. It cannot stay. It cannot have liberty in your bodies. This day, cancer is gone. Receive your healing. Thank you so much for viewing this video.